So if you're a golfer who's been trying to shorten their backswing to try and become more consistent, but you feel like you're hitting the ball maybe a little bit worse, maybe losing some distance, or you're someone who wants to shorten the backswing and do it properly for more consistency, this is the video for you. Because we're gonna discuss how to shorten that backswing properly to one, still hit the ball a decent distance, possibly even hit it even further, and how to have that nice accuracy, consistency that we want out of this. So first thing we need to do, we need to have a slightly laid off shaft at the top of the backswing. Now, why we need that is because we need to shallow the golf club with any golf swing to be successful. So then we can utilize good rotation that make a good stable club going through the golf ball. We can't shallow the golf club in a short golf swing if we're across the line. Why that is, is because we don't have enough time to be able to do it. So moving the center of mass of the club from here to here in an absolute split second is generally not going to happen for the vast majority of all you golfers out there. So that's why we need it shallow already at the top. So that slightly laid off shaft. Now from there, it's far easier to have that club move nice and shallow in a downswing. We have to do less to make it shallow. So then we can turn through that golf ball nicely and present all those good stuff we want going through the golf ball that shallowing helps us present. See so many of you all the time, your biggest mistake with a short golf swing, you're across the line. So the next thing I wanna see with a short golf swing to make it work completely relates to the first point here. So, and this is having the right arm a little bit more tucked to the side, a little bit more in front. So from here, that makes it much easier to have this slightly laid off shaft. Because if my trail arm started to disconnect away from me, you can see immediately what that does to the club shaft. It stands it up, it points it a little bit more across the line. So from there, be really hard, like we said, to shallow it, get that right arm back in front. If we keep that right arm in front in the backswing, we're gonna have no problem to move it in a more functional way in the downswing, elbow moving more in front, which is gonna aid that shallowing move in the downswing and get us moving with a nice consistent movement for a better swing. So the next bit here I'd like to see with shorter golf swings is a bit that creates your power and also creates a good consistent club path so you're not shaping the ball over the place. So this is your sequencing. And one thing that we notice with the best players in the world who have that shorter golf swing, let's say a John Rahm, let's say a Tony Finau, you'll see them start their downswing mid backswing. So for them, it might be around three quarters of the way back because them at left arm parallel on the backswing is almost their full backswing. But you'll see them start to unwind their lower body and mid torso towards the target just as they're completing their backswing. So again, we have less time to perform a good transition with a shorter golf swing. So it's gonna be harder for us to have a good sequencing of events in the downswing. I so commonly see golfers who have this short golf swing, then start to rotate everything at once in the downswing, and then they get this horrible over the top swing. You have to encourage your body to start that downswing sequencing in that mid backswing. So if you can do that, that's gonna really create that amazing club head speed, even with this short golf swing, but it's also gonna create that good club path as well. It's gonna promote that club to stay shallow, also moving through the golf shot. So it's gonna make it a little bit more efficient. So there is a good number of drills you can do to encourage you to do all the good movements you want with this short golf swing. So I'll show you the ones here, the, my first favorite two to do with the golf ball hitting shots. So this is the first one, alignment stick underneath the trail arm. Now, why this is good, because this is gonna promote you one, a good trail arm movement. It's gonna keep it nice and tucked because this is underneath your arm. You've gotta keep it there. But two, it's also gonna be good for the golfers wanting to shorten their golf swing because it's gonna stop your arms from traveling too high up. So we can also feel like as soon as that left arm touches this stick to start that downswing of the lower body and mid torso, start to unwind it. So this is really the ultimate drill for this problem and really getting that good shorter golf swing. So let me hit one here. Soon as my left arm touches this stick, I'm gonna start my downswing of the lower body mid torso. It's gonna keep my right arm in a good spot, all the things I want. So the next drill to do is with this training aid. So this is the Tour Striker Smart Ball, but any kind of training aid where it's a small ball like this will suffice nicely. So what we do with it, we put it in between our forearms. Now this is gonna train again, that good trail arm movement. And for most of you who suffer with having a poor shorter golf swing, your trail arm shooting away, causing across the line shaft 
is mostly the reason. So this will force that tray arm to stay a little bit more tucked because you have to do that to keep the ball in between your arms. And this creates great sequencing in the downswing also. One of the best training aids to use for, let's say, most golfers because it targets so many things. So keeping this in between my arms in the backswing and in the downswing will really match up that short swing really, really nicely. So this last drill here is going to be one that's important for pretty much most golfers, regardless even if you're trying to have a shorter golf swing, and this is working on your sequencing. So we don't need a club at all for this. This is a drill you do at home. And this is where your favorite of the channel, grab a resistance band, put it to an upright, grip it like you're in the top of the backswing and start to rotate that lower body mid torso. Do nothing with your upper body and arms because you physically can't because there's too much resistance. So this is what trains that good transitional movement. So for us, like we know of a short golf swing, if we do a bunch of this, and then we can get that nice feeling after we've done a lot of reps of it, we can apply that feeling to what we want to happen in that kind of mid to three quarter backswing position with that lower body mid torso unwinding. For us to make sure we get a movement into our golf swing, we've got to understand what it feels like first that creates it because if we don't know what it feels like it's not going to be very likely we're going to get into it which is why drills are so important so here we go really trying that good separation after doing that and that's going to massively help you to be able to make this short swing work and actually get it into your golf swing so guys if you enjoyed this video click that like button if you want more golf instruction just like this hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So it's very specific what you've got to do to make a short golf swing work. You have to neat and tidy everything up. But once you do that, it'll be a very consistent swing to play with.